What's up everyone? Today we're going to go over leak code 236, least common ancestor of a binary tree. And the input is going to be a binary tree like this, and it's going to be the input is also going to include two target nodes, like a 7 and 8, or 5 and 4, and then we have to return the least common ancestor. So 7 and 8 are going to meet up here, 5 and 4 are going to actually meet here. First I'm going to explain the logical flow behind it, and then I'll write the code. So the first thing is, anytime a node gains control of the recursive stack, it has to check whether or not it is equal to the, one of the target nodes. If it is, it has to say, oh look, I'm here, and return itself. If a node is not one of the target nodes, it's going to ask its left and right child. And then <clears throat> it's going to recursively ask them, and then if um, they're both, if they're both, if, if there's a target node in the left child and there's a target node coming from the right child, then that node, which is the parent of the left and right, is the least common ancestor. If one of the children is null and the other one is not, that's still fine. It's going to return the node, which is not null. And if both of them are null, then you can just return null and uh, that's going to be fine. So... Um, the, this solution comes from Yuhang Jiang. I'll put his uh, uh, solution below in the comments below. And uh, let's get into it. Return. So we're going to first check. Um, for P and Q. So with these recursives, we always see if something is null, we return. If node is null, we return null. If node is either one of the target nodes, we can return node. We can write this because if a node is one of the target nodes, it has to be either a P or a Q. It cannot be both. So if it's P, it's going to return itself. If it's Q, it's going to return itself. Else, it's going to ask its left and right child. Node left. Uh, okay, I'll call this node. Sorry. Node dot left, and then P, and then Q, and then node right. DFS node dot right P and then Q. Now it's gonna see now or like I said, if a given node sees that its left and right is non-null, that means it's found the least common ancestor, which is itself. If left is not null and right is not null, we return node. Else, we're just going to return the non-null, right? And if they're both null, it's okay. Just return whatever null. Cool. So let's see what that looks like here. 3 is going to ask its left and right child because 3 is not a target node. 5 is going to say, I'm not a target node. Let me ask my left and right child. 6 is going to say, I am a target node. Oh, no, no, I'm not a target node, sorry. Uh, this is going to say null. 2 is going to tell 5, hold on, let me check 7 and 4. 7 is going to say, I am a target node. 4 is going to say, I'm not a target node, nor do I have any target nodes. 2 is going to say, oh, look, I have, I have something. And it's going to tell se uh, 7, it's going to pass it up to 5. And 5 is going to... Say, oh look, one of them is not null, I pass it up here. Three is still waiting on the right side. So one is going to say, I'm not a target node, let me ask my kids. He's, they're both null, null comes up. Eight is going to say, both are null, null comes up. One is going to say, oh, I just have nulls, so null comes up. Um, actually, actually, eight, eight is a target node, my bad, my bad. So eight is a target node, so eight comes up. Eight uh, is going to come up here because one has found that eight, one of the target nodes. 8 and 7 is going to come up, so the LCA is going to be 3, because 3 is going to have two non-null nodes. 
So that's how we get 3. Now let's look at 5 and 4. For 5 and 4, first when we ask 3, let's say it asks um, 5, right? 5 is going to say, I am given. I am one of the target nodes. And then 5 is immediately going to say itself. So 3 is done asking its left side. Now, one, 3 is going to ask 1. 1 is going to say, hold on, I'm not a target node. This is going to return null. This is going to return null when we're looking at this case. And this is going to return null. But 3 is going to say, oh, look, I have 5. So 5 is the LCA. Now, why does this work? This works because when 3 is getting null back from its right side, it's guaranteed that the right subtree is useless. Everything is going to be in the left subtree. <clears throat> now, because both the target nodes are in the left subtree, whichever target node is found first is going to be the least common ancestor. So yeah, that's how you solve Lead Code 236. If you like it, please subscribe and like it. And let me know what other problems you'd like me to solve. Thanks.